Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day so far. Welcome to another video. This is part two of a year in size coding video done specially for Love by 2024. Uh, we go through all of the tiny intros that were released in 2023. We highlight the different parties that had uh, tiny intro competitions in the demo scene and uh, show a little bit of the, of the best ones that were released throughout the year. Hope it's useful for you to catch some of the intros that you might have missed uh, and uh, give you some ideas of places where you can submit your entries for 2024. Anyways, without further ado, let's get uh, into this video uh, covering from the months of June to uh, December of 2023, as I mentioned. In the middle of June, we had at party happening in uh, the United States. They had a 256 byte intro competition with a little bit of diversity in it, despite not many entries. Uh, the third place was for the Raspberry Pi Acetaminophen by Grz. Uh, then we had uh, Mercury by Bittle of uh, Seven Dump, who's been doing a, a few different uh, tiny intros throughout the year. And then first place, House of Mojo by Marky Design for the, the Pico 8. Actually, it's a... Um, it works on all the different fantasy consoles, the similar code, it was ported to the different ones, so Micro W8, Pico 8 and Tick 80 at the same time, uh, the same code, the same effect. Uh, so congratulations to Marky Design for that. Then at the end of June we had the Nova Demo Party happening in the United Kingdom, as usual it's the most regular demo party happening in the United Kingdom. They had a tiny intro competition in particular for 256 byte intros and some uh, lower stuff as well, obviously. Uh, the winner, well, we go through all of them. They had 13 entries uh, overall. Um, some flags, some stuff for the ZX Spectrum, uh, some things for the um, Raspberry Pi and TIC80 as well. Uh, fifth place to Sign of the Chimes by uh, Tom Sandon of Bitshifters. Fourth place to Gothic Cat by Alia. Uh, third place to Xorb by Gigabates. Second place Voro Blood Singularity by Pelicus. And the first place Sunset Cove Moods by J Truck, which is very uh, moody cinematic uh, rendering here. At the Crunch Demo Party in Poland, we had this uh, Silly Venture 2023 invitation that is 256 bytes. Also happening in Poland, uh, but in the beginning of July, we had the Lost Party happening, uh, the second edition of this year. They had the one kilobyte intro competition and the 256 byte intro competition. Let's take a look at both of them. Not many entries, but some good quality things. Uh, coming soon by Joker, a reference to the image from the famous uh, Amiga demo uh, of the Black Lotus. In first place, Into the Sunshine by Joker as well. And 256 byte intro competition, only three entries uh, for mostly Atari, and the winner was Wayward by Marky Design. Happening on the same weekend, but in uh, Sweden, we had a summer hack and uh, Atari party happening. They had a 256 byte intro competition with quite some diversity on the different uh, Ataris that exist. Uh, for the Atari Jaguar, we had another cry by the for, for by 42 Bastion. Uh, and then we had um, a portfolio entry by MKM of uh, Lamers, uh, 256 water by Extreme for the Atari Falcon, and for the Atari ST uh, Marky Design uh, won another uh, competition with Algo Rift. And at the end of July at Kansas Fest in the United States, an event dedicated to uh, Apple II machines and uh, surrounding things, uh, Overboard by Market Design was also released outside of any competition. And at the very last weekend of July, we had the Evoke Demo Party happening in Germany. Uh, as usual, they had the dedicated 256 byte intro competition, opened for uh, different platforms. 14 entries overall, uh, Starfield, the Bitnik, Julia Walk, uh, Copper Color Bars by the Batsmote, uh, Banana War, 
Autosterograma by Moco, A Long Journey by Logiker, Mini Mega Demo, Keep on Swimming, uh, Coding Roots Nostalgia, and then the top four, Evoctic by Alcatraz, Terra 248 by Napalm, second place to Intoro 256 by Pelicus, who got a lot of second places throughout the year, and first place, Faros by Market Design, who has been getting a lot of first places throughout the year. <laughs> In the beginning of August, we had an assembly demo party happening in Finland. As usual, assembly summer edition. They had the one kilobyte intro competition, who's been uh, re recurring for quite a few years now. Uh, Get Real by Mialiki, Infinite by uh, Infinite, uh, Kilon Tortu by the Kakendals. Uh, it's common courtesy to make combo fillers short by Macburito, uh, Fish by Mialiki. Memories from Pastilla Woods by KMA with a very cinematic feeling. Uh, second place to Lost in Neon by Fulcrum and the first place XP by Brainless Coders and Reborn. Russia, there was a demodulation party happening uh, in the middle of August. Uh, they had a couple of competitions dedicated to tiny size coding. The old school intro competition uh, featured only six entries, mostly for the ZX Spectrum, some MSX things as well in there. And uh, second place to Grashister by XS Team for the Electronica BK, and the first place uh, MSX by ESP Soft. <laughs> They also had the high-end intro competition with also six entries. Uh, sixth place goes to Goblinish, also fifth place. Third place to Odula by Bit of Seven Dump. Uh, Watafum by uh, Jin X got second place. And the winner for the Micro W8 was uh, Transy by Dresden Boy. <laughs> On track, a demo party happening inside the Chaos Computer Camp uh, in uh, Germany also took place in the middle of August. They had a couple of tiny intros on the wild competition, uh, Fork Wandridge by Vlad and Silicate by Byte of Server. And in Poland, we had Silly Venture, the largest Atari demo party. They always have some uh, tiny intro competitions as well. Uh, for the Atari Falcon, we saw Cornell Box uh, F FC being released. Uh, for the Atari Jaguar, we had the same uh, intro but ported uh, to the Jaguar. Um, then we had Tom and Jerry and Julia by 42 Bastion, also for the Atari Jaguar, of course. Um, and uh, Algo Rip by 42 Bastion was the winner of this competition. 128 byte intro for the Atari ST, got second place by Tom of SMFX and was won by Matka Natura by Marquee Design. We also had a tiny game for the Atari XL that was won by Epic Killer Rabbits Battle and the Atari XL 256 bytes uh, intro competition with only three entries, Eternal Sunshine by Gorg, uh, Flight Over Unknown Lane by uh, Kane of Suspect and the Colored Signs by PPS.
smaller Russian Demo Party uh, also happened at the end of August. It's called uh, Undefined. Uh, they had a few different competitions with some uh, smaller entries, Kubo 1K for the TIC 80, and then a few uh, size coding intros released as well. Um, on the retro demo intro combined uh, competition waves by frog for the playstation uh, ppk for the zx spectrum also um, a 1k intro for the vector 06c and uh, the winner coisacto was the zx spectrum 256 byte intro can't get enough and uh, the plotter 64 byte for the sum coupe uh, for with the uh, 64 bytes In Poland, Xenium took place uh, at the end of August as well, and they also had an old-school intro competition with a couple of entries that were size-coded. The invitation for the Specky PL party made for the ZX Spectrum, and in second place, Xenium by Zine of Ascenda for uh, the Atari 8-bit computer. In the beginning of September, Function in Hungary had their traditional 256-byte intro competition for MS-DOS, 13 entries overall, uh, we had quite a few uh, interesting entries. Fifth place to View Me by Sense and Stall. Uh, fifth place uh, Escape by LBI. Final Bites by Tomcat of Abaddon. Caustica by Rjola. Uh, Function Shrinks Yes to 256 Bytes by Ionic. And in first place Farewell by Helmut of Desire. The same weekend, but in Germany, uh, Nordlich took place and they have a, two, a 512 byte intro competition uh, also happening. Uh, Modex by 7Dump, uh, Random Color Beam by Slacks for the Commodore 64, uh, Hippo Train for the Amiga got third place, second place to uh, Raw Shark for the Atari VCS, and first place went to Trails by Tea Drinker with a 512 byte Micro W8 entry. Specky PL demo party happening in Poland dedicated to the ZX Spectrum also had a 256 byte intro competition with five entries mostly submitted by monster uh, matrix mandala uh, sort light by spectrum extreme sin and the winner was specky shader by gork of agenda Deadline also had a 256-byte intro competition, uh, only six entries, but all of them quite decent. You Rolled by Dead of RMDA, uh, Platinum uh, Bow by 3000 by Kumel, uh, Patterns by Vlad, uh, Cockadrome by Tea Drinker for the Micro W8, uh, Stairs to Oddity by Pelicus, another second place for Pelicus for the Tick 80, and the winner Deadline Effect by Dresden Boy of Citavia for the Micro W8 as well. Flash party happening in Argentina at the end of October also had a 256 byte intro competition. Uh, Knee Biter got sixth place, uh, fifth place the, for Divine Buenos by Joker with an entry that could easily have won the competition. Uh, Una Cuatro de Capa Onda by Knee Biter got fourth. Uh, first place XSO by Xalo. Uh, Mod 7 by Hippro got second place. And first place Eye of the Storm by Algorias of Orology. Only 64 bytes on Tick 80. Thank you. 
At Demo Splash in the United States, beginning of November, we also had a size constraint intro competition. Uh, only two entries Julia 256 bytes by Knee Biter and uh, Creative Carving 1K by Seven of Fulcrum. There was also a 128 byte intro released at Comparade in uh, Germany in the middle of uh, November called Interfill. And then we had experience at the end of uh, November in Hungary, a combined demo competition that had a few uh, size coding intros in there. You can see here bounce circles, uh, demo sceners at the beach at night, and a bulldog Karak Sonnit by uh, Tomcat. Then we had the National Demo Party happening here in Portugal. Uh, we had a dedicated Fantasy Console 512 byte intro competition with quite a few uh, entries. 30-minute uh, demo by Rafit, 16 bytes by Algorias, which is like the limit of what you can do on the Dick 80. Uh, first 80 by Evil of Accession, Evil Glance Conversation by uh, Noglin, uh, Pond by Garfield, Agripa Vanities by The Oars, uh, Inertia 23 512 bytes by myself, PS, uh, Smash by Bits Up by Zep, uh, the creator of Pico 8, uh, Zedmas by Rift got second place, and the winner was Torold but Cold. Pelic was finally getting his first place after getting so many second places throughout uh, the year. Also at the National Demo Party, there was a release happening at the Wild Showcase, uh, a pack of intros of different sizes, 8 byte, 16 byte, 32 byte, everything put together by Marquee Design. Then in Poland, we had the winter edition of uh, Seal Avenger with more Atari uh, things being released. Atari Falcon 256 byte intro with only two entries, uh, Snow and a Fern. Uh, then we had the Atari Jaguar 256 byte entries, usually with participations from 42 Bastion, Moving Traps, Bubble Universe, uh, conversion, a port of uh, the bubble effect for the Jaguar. And the winner was Texture Plane Jag by Atari BDSM. Atari ST 128 byte intro only had a single entry over uh, Colorful by Mr. B. Only one entry for the Atari XL 256 byte game uh, competition as well. Morso Valnier uh, by uh, and then the intro competition had for entries Silly Bees by Sun, Approaching Ventilation Shaft by Krzyz, uh, 30 Years of Zelax by Svieti, and in first place we turn before sunrise by Sheriff. <laughs> Ending up the year, we had Tillage FX, a uh, streaming uh, event that had some uh, a combined showcase with different entries. They had a couple of 256-byte intros released there. Don't Stare by Nico, uh, Silent Snow, Secret Snow by Book Wyvern, Season Greetings by Market Design for the Apple II, and that's it. And then last but not least, we had the Vintage Computing Christmas Challenge, which was uh, trying to create this specific effect under the last number of bytes uh, possible. And a lot of people took to it. It's the third year that this uh, challenge was set out. A lot of people tried using BASIC, using Assembler, all sorts of different languages, all sorts of different platforms. So uh, they had over 230 submissions uh, for the competition of trying to uh, size optimize uh, this effect. A lot of different ways to tackle the effect and uh, the most interesting is the diversity of platforms that were. So I highly recommend you checking out the, the video presentation of uh, showing the different effects and the different platforms where they were all in. Uh, great job, Logiker, organizing this. And definitely check it out if you like size coding and obscure retro platforms. You have a lot of interesting things uh, to check out here. Most of them have the code freely available as well. So... Uh, that wraps things up for the year in size coding part two hope you found some interesting uh, intros in this video hope you enjoy the rest of love bite see you around everybody have a great day